Hi everyone, welcome to the 8th video of Redux Toolkit tutorial series. Previously, we have implemented our login functionality inside the create async thunk method. And today in this video, we will create slice and reducer for our create async thunk. So let's move to our VS code. Now I will create our initial state const initial state. First, we just create variable for error. Then it should be an empty object. Then user info. It also should be an empty object right now. Then loading. Initially, the loading will be true. And the last thing is is authenticated. It should be false. Now let's create our slice const auth slice. We have to call the create slice method. Create slice method takes an object. Inside the object, the first property is name. So we'll name as auth. The second thing is initial state. We have to pass semicolon here. And we have used the third thing as reducer. So if you go to the post slice, we have passed reducers. So in this, we will pass reducers to be empty because we have no reducers for it. For handling the async task, Redux toolkit provide extra reducers. And this extra reducers take a function. So we will pass a callback function and we will get a builder as a parameter inside the callback. So for handling the create async thunk, we have to write extra reducers. So this create async thunk method returns us a promise. As you see, we are passing a async callback function. So according to ES6 concepts, a async method always returns us a promise. So we will handle this promise inside this extra reducers. So builder provides us a method add case. Inside the add case, we have to handle our promise. So promise has three state, pending, fulfilled and rejected. And we will handle all these three state. So we will write login. This login is the name of the thunk dot pending. And the second parameter is a arrow function. We will get the state and action. Now we will set the state. So when the promise is pending, I will make state dot loading as false. This is only thing I want to do when my promise is pending. I'll remove this action because we don't need it here. And if my promise is fulfilled, then I will write a case for it. Builder dot add case login dot fulfilled and we'll pass an arrow function. Inside this arrow function, we will take state and action as parameter. So in the fulfilled state, we will set our states state dot error. And I will set it empty because there is no error when the promise is fulfilled. So in the fulfilled state, we will get the user info as action dot payload. And we will set our loading to false. I have to pass semicolon here and we will make state dot is authenticated to be true. Now let's write a case for rejected state. So builder dot add case login dot rejected and we'll pass state and action as a parameter inside the arrow function. We'll copy these things because it is same. So in the rejected state, we will not get this user info. So I'll remove this because we don't need it. So inside the error, I will pass action dot payload. Similarly, we can also remove the state dot error inside the fulfilled state. If there is some error while executing this particular method, this builder execute this rejected state and we will get the error inside the action dot payload. So our extra reducers has been created. Now we have to import the reducer. So we'll do export default 
auth slice dot reducers. Now we will pass this auth slice reducer inside our store. So let's open the store and we'll pass auth. Here we will pass our auth reducer. We have to import the auth reducer first. So we'll import import auth reducer from auth slice. Now let's check our application whether our reducer has been created or not. Go back to Redux. We will see our auth state has been created inside the Redux. Now we are already dispatching our state from the login.js. So our functionality has been completed. So let's check our functionality. Pass a fake email address and give a password and give an error. The pending states now generating. Loading state should be false as per requirement. And the rejected state is not giving us the error. Let me tell you. Because in the error, we have passed action.payload, but we will get the error in action.error. So instead of action.payload, we have to pass action.error for the error. I did it intentionally so that you will remember in the future. Let's check our application. Let's pass fake email address and generate the error again. Click on sign in. In the rejected state, now we are getting the error. Now let's pass a right email address that is amon at the gmail.com and click on sign in. We get the fulfill state and inside that we are getting user info. But we are also getting the error because we have removed the error from here. So we have to put the error again state.error equal to empty. Now let's check back again. Aman at the rate gmail.com one two three four five six and we are not getting the error we are getting the user info now we have to redirect our user from login page to the dashboard page for that we have to just uncomment this line this user we have to fetch from use selector so const user equal to use selector so let's print the state first so we will see what state is coming so we will console it let's go back to our application refresh the login page we are getting is authenticated and undefined we have to comment that first because we are not getting the user Now it's loading properly. Let's check the state. State is coming as auth and the post. We are interested in the auth. And inside the auth, we are getting all the variables. Now let's uncomment this line. Now we have to set the state. State dot auth. If we go back to our application, let's log in. Click on sign in. We are redirected to the dashboard page. But wait, we have not completely covered extra reducer and create a sync thunk. So in the next video, we will continue with the next functionality. So in the next video, we will cover one more scenario of extra reducer. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.